My work is realistic impressionism, well, sort of. It's also evolving. I love the way colors work with, one, with each other. Uh, they play off each other to create a good effect. If you, it gets a little chemical, learning which colors do what with other colors. Get, you can get some very sad results if you don't pay attention. <laughs> I extract, I have evolved over the time I've been painting to paint less exact representation of my subject matter and more how I feel about it. Big pink flower behind us right now that was painted on site, sitting in front of the flower on a beautiful day in Costa Rica. And there's more feeling in there than flower. Uh, it was probably October early. I lived up in the forest at the time. I stepped out my front door and it had snowed, but the leaves hadn't fallen yet. So many of them had broken off. And there was this little cluster of beautiful gold aspen leaves lying in the snow. And I liked the color, I liked the composition and it became a painting called First Snow. Bowl of Cherries was another exercise in learning to do something. Uh, it's a silver bowl, which is picking up the reflections of the cherries that are in the bowl and the reflections of what's around the bowl. Uh, it's a traditional still life composition. You have a, a bowl and some fruit and a cup of coffee but it was an exercise for me in learning to do things uh, that appear difficult. Aspen Glow is a painting that I actually was using as a demo when I was teaching. You uh, mask out the trunks of the trees so that they stay pretty much the original paper, and then you get the things sopping wet and drop in color which pretty much goes where it wants to. It's less a picture about the trunks of aspen trees than it is a painting of the light coming through the aspen trees, which was what I was going for. Painting with emotion is, it can be a long process. My, for me, the paintings start out in my, in my head, in my heart. But when a painting has stayed on my heart for a while, I have to do it. I am compelled. But it takes a huge amount of bravery to put the first stroke on the paper. And then, usually, I'll suddenly look up from what I'm doing and go, oh my word, it's 3.30. Uh, I've been doing this for hours. You get into it, you lose track of time, you, you become what you're doing. And it, it's a lovely way to live, very lovely way to live.